What is up guys, it's Soulbash. Today we are going to take a look at a few things that are coming in the next update, which is a 5 versus 5 battlefield mode. New pet systems will be introduced and also there's going to be a new pet, more pet enhancements, new character enhancements, which I can't touch because I'm not level 100 yet, and they have some notable changes to the PvP matchmaking system. This is all that's been released so far that I could gather. Uh, this has all been released within the past two weeks. Uh, the main things I want to start with are the pet enhancements. For one, I know for sure Hades is on that list. So we will be able to get Hades enhanced. And hopefully they'll have a skin out for him as well. That will be the first thing I'll go for out of this update. Because Hades has become a jewel for damage. Alright, uh, next uh, character enhancements. I can't really tell you a whole lot about those yet. Uh, we'll have a video coming out soon on those. Uh, thank you to a guilty. Uh, next, let's see, PvP matchmaking system. Uh, it's changed a little bit here recently, uh, so hopefully it's going to get a lot better. But the big two out of this that we're going to talk about um, are the pet clans. The pet clans, let's see, they did a post up and we're going to go through it right here. Uh, basically what they said were pet clans are broken up into four separate divisions including the Sky Clan, Earth Clan, Cloud Clan, and the Wind Clan. Players can add any pets they own to whichever clan they would like. However, certain attribute and skill bonuses will be unlocked by adding specific pets to each clan. Each clan provides unique attribute bonuses. Pets will receive 100% of the listed bonuses while the players will receive a smaller percentage of the bonus provided. Players may have one main pet clan active at a time. Pets can still be added to other clans as a sub clan. You may need to change your clan roster depending on which instance you're taking on. Okay, so just mix them up, add them up. Okay, it makes a lot of sense. Uh, you're either going to balance it out or you're going to go full offensive or full defensive. Um, and what they are, each of them respectively, the Sky Clan gains a bonus from net damage and HP siphon. Uh, the Earth Clan, you get a bonus in crit resist and damage reduction. The Cloud Clan, you gain a bonus in hit rate and crit damage. And the Wind Clan, you gain a bonus in health and dodge rate. Probably go with two different ones and try to balance those two out uh, or just overload on one of them if you're overexcited about those specific stats. In addition to simple attribute boost, there are some special effects that will be activated during battles when using certain pet clan formations. Examples of these special effects include team-wide speed boosts, enemy movement speed debuffs, and a chance to root enemies for several seconds on hit and more. That's going to be very interesting. Seems like a very cool concept to add to that. And those aren't the only bonuses that they're going to have. They, uh, they explained that they're going to have additional bonuses that can be unlocked within certain conditions. So. Maybe they've got some type of quest lines or something like that planned out. I'm not sure. Uh, but the pet clans, that is definitely going to add another twist to yet the backbone of what this game is about, which is the pets. And the final one that we want to talk about today is the 5v5. Um, on their website, they did a nice post, and it basically explains everything about it. I'm going to go through it and I'll basically explain and give you my opinion on it. Uh, in order to qualify to enter the 5v5 battlefield, players must own at least 15 unique pets. Okay, that's no problem. I've got 30 of them, at least, I know of. When entering this battlefield, players will need to create three pet teams containing two pets each. However, not all of your pets will be available to choose from. Instead, all players will need to create three two-pet teams recruited from random selection of 10 of their own pets additionally each day five random pets will be completely banned from entering this particular battlefield now that is a wicked twist on this to begin with only certain pets on certain days are going to be able to enter the battlefield that's basically what it's kind of saying uh, next is saying uh, the battlefield is not a typical death match teams will fight to compete complete various Objectives to earn points and the first team to reach 100 points wins. The only way teams can earn points is through capturing resource nodes scattered throughout the map. Players can capture nodes by standing on them for a few seconds. More points are earned the longer the team controls a node. Okay, we've already had those. Uh, those are in Warpath, so 
it's not point based it's just just from capturing it so that's pretty cool as well that adds another unique twist into it another way points can be earned is by capturing a flag and returning it to your team's side of the map capture the flag yes shortly after the match begins a boss will appear in the center of the map the boss's strength will be determined at the start of each match by taking an average of each participant's might score when the boss is defeated it will drop a battle flag if a player stands on the flag for at least five seconds they will pick the flag up but they will gain the battlefield flag debuff okay this debuff will slow down the character speed by 50 percent so you're still going to be able to move but it's going to slow you down when players with this debuff attempt to use displacement skills such as teleports or dashes it will not move the character but still deal the damage if this the skill was used normally okay at least you're still getting your damage out of it but you can't move any faster than 50 percent of your normal speed after the player successfully delivers the flag to their team's base the flag will disappear and the player will, will earn 30 points However, if a player drops the battle flag during transportation, the other players can steal the flag by standing on top of it for five seconds. One minute after the fall of the first boss, a second boss will spawn in its place, dropping another flag once it is defeated. This flag will still drop even if the first boss's flag still hasn't been delivered by the time the second boss is defeated, which can create some extremely chaotic situations this sounds insane the amount of chaos you have going on right now okay so you can only have certain pets in here so you're not gonna get the the, the cr creme of the crop every time you know you're just gonna have to deal with whatever you're dealt all right on top of that you have the nose that you can capture for points you have the boss in the middle that's determined based off of your might then the boss drops a flag which is worth 30 points if you carry it back to your base but you lose 50 percent movement speed in the process this is going to be really really fun i'm super excited about this update guys if there's anything that you've seen coming out soon that you want to know about ask me in the comments below i'll be happy to get some information on it and see if i can't get it to you guys as always thank you for watching guys like comment and subscribe I am Soul Bash. You guys have a nice day.